What's up world, Matt here. And today I wanna to practice talking about my family and your family, sharing information and getting to know a little bit about the people and the families that we belong to. Um, so first, I wanna tell you about my family and ask you a little bit about yours. My mother's name is Julie. What's your mother's name? My father's name is Leonard. What's your father's name? My brother's name is Andy. What's your brother's name? I don't have a sister. My other brother's name is Jack. Do you have other brothers or sisters? What are their names? My grandmother's name is Jackie, but we call her Honey because she's so sweet. And my grandfather's name was Jerry. He passed away and I still love him like family. What are your grandparents' names? Nice, thanks for sharing. Now, I'm gonna tell you the names of my family members again, and then I'm going to quiz you to see if you can remember which family member goes with which name. So try to remember, okay? So my mother's name is Julie, my father's name is Leonard, my brother's name is Andy, my other brother's name is Jack. My grandma's name is Jackie. And my grandpa's name is Jerry. Do you want to hear it one more time quickly? <sighs> okay, but only because you asked nicely. My mother's name is Julie. My father's name is Leonard. My brother's name is Andy. My other brother's name is Jack. My grandma's name is Jackie. And my grandpa's name is Jerry. Okay, so now I'm going to quiz you. Um... Whose name is Julie? Yeah, my mother's name is Julie. Nice. And whose name is Leonard? Yeah, my dad's name is Leonard. My father, my dad, same thing. My dad's name is Leonard, my father's name is Leonard. Same you. Whose name is Andy? Yeah, that's my brother's name. My brother's name is Andy. And whose name is Jack? Yeah, my other brother, his name is Jack. He's younger, so that's why I keep calling him my other brother. And that's why I'm laughing, because when he watches this video, he's going to be angry. But sorry, Jack, you're my other brother. Whose name is Jackie? Yeah, my grandma's name is Jackie. And whose name is Jerry? Yeah, my grandpa's name is Jerry. Nice job remembering my family's names. I'd ask you to tell me your family's names and I'd try and remember them because I'm really competitive, but that's not how a video like this works. So if you wanna try playing with a friend, you can, but I'm gonna go on to another activity that you and I can do through this video. So I've been telling you about my family's names using one specific sentence structure. And now I want you to focus in on that specific English sentence and decide if what you see written on screen is correct or incorrect, right? I'll show you a sentence and a picture that goes along with it, and you need to look at the words and see if you think they're correct based on the sentence structure that I've been using so far, okay? So, is this sentence correct? My mother's name is Julie. What do you think? Yeah, this sentence is correct. This sentence shows the name that belongs to my mother. It's my mother's name, and it's Julie. Nice. Okay, sentence number two. My father name is Leonard. Is this sentence correct? My father name is Leonard. No, this sentence is not correct. It has all of the words it needs, but it's missing one really important letter. On father, we need to add an S and an apostrophe in this so that the sentence says, my father's name is Leonard. That shows that the name belongs to my father, right? That s father's name. My mother's name is Julie and my father's name is Leonard. All right. Sentence number three. 
My brother names is Andy. Is this sentence correct? My brother names is Andy. No, this sentence is not correct because it has that important apostrophe S, but it's in the wrong place, right? Andy doesn't belong to name. The name belongs to my brother. And so we want that s on brother. My brother's name is Andy. Now this sentence is correct. My brother's name is Andy. All right, one more example. My grandmother's name is Jackie. Is this sentence correct? My grandmother's name is Jackie. Well, this is a tricky one. If you just listen to me, the sentence is correct. My grandmother's name is Jackie. But if you look at what's written on the screen, there's one tiny thing that's missing. It's very important. It's that apostrophe, right? When I just add an S to a word like grandmother, I'm talking about not one grandmother, but two grandmothers. My mother's mother and my father's mother right? Those are my grandmothers. So if I just have the S in a written word, it means I'm talking about two or more. But if I want to show that the name Jackie belongs to my grandmother, then I want to write grandmother with that little tiny dash apostrophe. And that is how we make these sentences correctly. Nice work practicing that. All right. So a lot of that is important in terms of the writing, especially the apostrophe. But when we're speaking, it's still important to make sure we're pronouncing that s, mothers, fathers, brothers, grandmothers, mats, right? So make sure you're hitting that s because that's in communicating important information. So you've done a nice job listening to these sentences, understanding them, corrected them when they're incorrect, and maybe even started to say them on your own. Now I want to help you practice speaking with this sentence structure in longer and longer chunks. So I want to challenge you to talk about at least five different people in your family and tell their names all in a row, right? All together, that might be around 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how quickly you're speaking. So one thing that's going to help you speak for an extended period of time is having something to help you remember what you want to say. And that's why I call this activity whoosh, family fingers. So I promise this is really fun. I give you permission to have this much fun with me. Take a marker and draw five family members on your fingers. You can pause the video if you'd like. Now, the reason we want you to draw little faces like this and not write down words is that we want you to use these fingers to help you remember what you're going to say. Now, if you think, oh, teacher, I don't want to write all my fingers on at home, that's lame. And you just pull out a piece of paper and you start writing down sentences. My mother's name is Tatiana. My father's name is Philip. Well, then when it's time to speak, Instead of looking up at me and smiling, you're going to whoosh, look down at your paper and read. And if you practice reading, you're going to get very good at reading. But if you want to practice speaking, you need to get very good at, at speaking. Right now I'm talking to you. I don't have a script anywhere. I'm not reading anything. I'm thinking words in my head and then sending them to you out of my mouth. And I have some ideas written down next to me that help keep me in line, right? I use little tiny visual reminders to help organize my speaking, but I don't want to let myself fall into the trap of reading because that's only practicing one specific English skill. So now that you've hopefully had time to draw five fingers, I want to show you how this works. How I'm going to use my five fingers to help me speak five full sentences about my family. I've got my mom. Oh, sorry. This is my mom. I'm looking. Uh, Reverse of the camera. 
My dad lives in a bit of hair at the top. He's old, wise, big smile, funny guy. My brothers are twins. If you can see their resemblance, they're very similar. Andy, a little bit taller, Jack, a little bit shorter. This is my grandma. She's really stylish. She's got some big sunglasses on. So this is my family. And I'm going to use my hand to help me remember to speak. And I can say, My mother's name is Julie. My father's name is Larry. My brother's name is Andy. My other brother's name is Jack. And my grandma's name is Jackie. That hand will help me remember how to make a complex sentence that's actually a compound of five separate sentences. Right? And when I start speaking like that, I'm sharing my ideas in more fluent and complex ways. So now I want you to try it. Pause this video and use your visual reminder. Whether it's five, fingers, five faces drawn on your finger like I asked, or if you drew some faces in your notebook. But again, I want to encourage you to try and speak looking at just some tiny pictures that you've drawn to give you ideas and not read. Try and tell me the names of at least five family members in a row. Pause the video and see how much you can talk in a row now. Nice work speaking for an extended time. I think this activity is a really nice way to practice that extended fluency. If you're having trouble speaking English for longer and longer times, try just talking about more and more family members for starters. This is information that's deep inside of your heart, and so sharing it is going to be easier to remember, and it'll let you just practice that movement of speaking in English on and on and on. Nice work. For our last activity, I want to build on this foundation of extended fluent speaking and try to see if we can speak for even longer by adding one more piece of information. So far, we've been talking about our family members and the names that belong to them. Now I want to talk about also, what are their favorite foods? So for each family member, we're going to share two different pieces of information. I can say, my mother's name is Julie, and her favorite food is tomatoes. And my father's name is Leonard, and his favorite food is fish. So I'm going to extend this sentence by saying either his or her favorite food is, and then a piece of information, all right? I'm going to show you what that looks like talking about all five members of my family. Then you can have a turn to practice, speaking for a long time, sharing your family members' names and favorite foods. So, my mother's name is Julie, and her favorite food is tomatoes. My father's name is Leonard, and his favorite food is fish. My brother's name is Andy, and his favorite food is hamburgers. My other brother's name is Jack, and his favorite food is pizza. And my grandma's name is Jackie, and her favorite food is cheese. That's my family. Now, why don't you take a turn and tell me about your family. Share their names and favorite foods and see how long you can speak for. Use your hand to help you remember. And if you're ready for more of a challenge, try not looking at a hand or try talking about even more than five family members and see how much longer you can make your fluent speaking. Well, great job practicing today. Thank you so much for telling me about your family and for letting me share about mine. Good luck practicing, and until next time, say hello to your family.